Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm your host, Uzma Khan, and you are watching Sister's Corner on Ikra TV. In this program, we take a very special guest for you every week, who is talking about their role and we share a lot of information with you so that you can help your community, you can give awareness, you can give them the services, different services, different organizations and different institutions at this time, you can give them the full time to them. Life is a whole set of things and no one else is the only one who is the only one who is perfect. We go through a lot of problems, a lot of problems, and if our hands are strong, we are determined, we don't let our dreams go down, then we have to reach our goal. In this way, some ladies are very inspiring in our community, who never give up, 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 but they give up, अपने वर्क को, अपने कमिटमेंट्स को, अपनी लाइफ को, प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ को लेके आगे चलती हैं और गिव अप गिव अप कभी नहीं करती हैं। इसी तरह की एक शख्सियत आज हमारे फ़ैगेम में भी मौजूद हैं और उनका नाम है आयशा खान और आयशा खान थोड़ा सा उनका इंट्रोडक्शन मैं कराती चलूँ कि आयशा खान इस वर्किंग एस एन एंगेजमेंट ऑफिसर इन रेड राइट नाउ लेट्स गो टू आयशा खान अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर वालेकुम अस्सलाम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द ब्यूटीफुल इंट्रोडक्शन वेरी हंबल्ड थैंक यू सो मच एंड आई एम फीलिंग वेरी ऑनर्ड टू हैव यू इन माय प्रोग्राम टुडे आयशा ऑब्वियसली यू आर प्लेइंग एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल in uh, today's uh, uh, today's time um, to towards community and helping them a lot with their uh, with different services um, obviously um, with a long read uh, before I go in depth about your services I would like you to introduce yourself to the sisters so they know what's your role um, at the moment okay I'll start from right the beginning. So I studied psychology and I was really interested of how human work. Mm -hmm. But then I was interested in how psychology could be used in business. So how to make people effective and productive. So I went into business psychology, then I did a little bit of healthcare industry where I recruited nurses, then went into like, you know, employers for software developers, employed them, business analysts, you name it, and I have recruited those kind of people, and especially for big organization, BBC, Royal Mail, all those kind of organizations. But then this role came up, and I was like, you know, it's high time that I find something which will give me a lot of, you know, more fulfillment, more rewarding in regards to finding people work who are actually struggling, yeah. who like, you know, if I don't help, maybe there might not be anybody who might be able to help. So uh, reading partnership came at the right time, but I was feeling like, you know, I need to leave a positive impact on people's lives. Yeah. And I want to help those who are actually really, really struggling in their way towards employment. So engagement officer is basically finding organizations who are using those kind of people, like for instance, uh, they might be sufferer of domestic abuse. So I go to certain women's center and tell them, look, this is our service. Mm -hmm. And um, you might have people who might be struggling to find employment. And then they give us uh, their service users mm -hmm. and they tell them, okay, look, Aisha is going to be here on Wednesdays, 10 to 12 for a drop in. If you are interested to find out how you can find an employment, you can talk to her. And then that's how I introduce the program to them. And that's basically the gist of my So role. would it be okay if Aisha, I say that you are actually demolishing the unemployment employment in the society and helping them and empowering them to get a right job or right training and uh, finding the best in them yes um, so uh, would it be okay yeah yeah definitely this is exactly what it is mm -hmm. we don't want people to find a job just for the sake of finding a job yeah. we really really focus our criteria is to find them sustainable job where they're going to find happiness where they can feel that they're going to progress or whatever their aspirations and motivation is so the program itself is very holistic you know when I find out about the program I was like you know if I was unemployed I would definitely be in the program myself yeah. we uh, then 
eligibility criteria is over 18, living in South London and unemployed. Obviously, they need to have public funding if they're not British citizen to be, you know, using this service because it's all free. Uh, the word you have used are uh, South London. Obviously, when I see um, Read is a huge organisation and uh, Read is working all over the UK, helping people with different sort of things. Um, why it is only South London? It's a very beautiful and interesting question and uh, this is exactly what my point was when I started and basically what they have realized is doing the research that South uh, London is actually highest in, in unemployment rate mm -hmm. so that's why and it's a pilot study we have reading partnership have been going on since 1983 but you know the study the uh, program now is for people who can who are economically inactive it's a new thing that you know the government is trying and seeing how we can kind of find people who are really struggling to find employment and they might not be on benefits you know um, they might you know just be ordinary human beings in a way that you know the people who have worked in an industry for 30 years and eventually has been made redundant and now they don't know how to use computers now they yeah. don't know how what the CV is going to look like what the interview process is going to look like so we take them step by step and try Obviously, to get if you are out of the game for a long time yes. and you forget how to play. Exactly. So um, this is, this, this is the reality, actually. Yes. Um, but obviously, Aisha, when I talk about um, the job search, I talk about unemployment, I talk about uh, people sitting at home, financial crisis, I talk about uh, domestic violence, yes. I talk about mental stress. Yes. Um, and these all things comes together because of financial situation. Yes. Because they cannot get the right job, they cannot get the right role, they cannot get according to their education, yes. maybe uh, whatever character they have, they can't find the right job, and then they struggle financially when they yes. struggle financially all the burden comes to their shoulders and obviously it comes on and on on and on adding all the like um, uh, stress physical mental and all these sort of things so what sort of trainings you are providing to those people to get employment and yeah. come in the come on their feet so again really nice question is basically it's a vicious cycle as you have said literally yeah. like you know you're unemployed you're struggling financially the mental health keeps mm -hmm. kicks in and it's just you know you go back and forth and obviously if you're in an employment where you're not happy mm -hmm. the mental health is going to kick in again yeah, exactly. you know where you're not going to feel satisfied or content yeah. Obviously, when you can't afford yes. uh, your basic needs, yes. um, your family, yes. and then you will struggle. Yes, yeah. but I feel like London is full of opportunities. <laughs> Once you go in, it's just how you're going to play the game, yeah. as you said, right? Um, so what we try to gather people is we give tips and tricks. We have been in recruitment for so long. We yeah. know what works. So sometimes, you know, a person might be want to be an assistant psychologist or they want to work in NHS. Mm -hmm. What we say is get your step in the door. Yeah. So you even apply for receptionist. Once yeah. you're in the role, yeah. there is high chance that they can see what you're worth, they can yeah. see the value you're putting in, and you know, once you're applying internally, yeah. you'll get that job. First so step gets to the next step. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And sometimes yeah. people might not be seeing it that way. Sometimes it's just one thing which can do a big, big breakthrough for you. And obviously, always, always it happens that yes. first step is always hard. Yes. It's difficult. Yes. And next step is easy, but yes. then this is how you have to make it. And th okay. this is where I think your services yes. are there to help the community to take the first step. Yes, yes. You know, come out of that stress. Yes. And you know, there is basically, once you're eligible, once you're in the program, there will be an employment advisor who's going to hold your hand, not literally, but you know, take you step by step. The whole program is around 21 months in that you get six months where you get in work support so once you're hired we make sure that you're getting on with the manager any problems anything like that before it becomes like a massive problem we can come in and try to ta tackle it mm -hmm. and before that so it will be interview helps it will be CV writing and not even that we also help with emotional well-being so managing anxiety managing depression there's loads of workshops on sleep nutrition mm -hmm. so you can access read well-being through our services as well so yeah. whatever you're struggling we're going to make sure that you are going to take all that support that you need and you deserve to get to the job that you want. A very um, good information, actually, uh, what Sister Aisha is sharing, and I really appreciate it, to be honest. Um, in life, it not that we have job, but it is very important that we have to be capable of that job. 
क्योंकि हमारे पास समटाइम्स क्वालिफिकेशन होती है एजुकेशन होता है एक्सपीरियंस होती है एक्सपीरियंस होता है लेकिन हम लोग एक ऐसे ट्रामा से गुजर चुके होते हैं जो कि हमें इस काबिल नहीं छोड़ता कि हम अपनी लाइफ को आगे उस चीज़ के साथ ले चल सकें तो अपने आप को एक जगह पे ले के स्टे करके ले के जाना इज़ वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट तो ओबियसली जितने भी सिस्टर्स इस वक्त प्रोग्राम देख रहे हैं तो सिस्टर आयशा अपनी सर्विसेज के हवाले से जो बात कर रही हैं वो सिर्फ ना आपको एम्प्लॉयमेंट देने में आपकी हेल्प करेंगी फाइंड करने में हेल्प करेंगी आपकी ट्रेनिंग में आपकी हेल्प करेंगी और इसके अलावा अगर कोई भी इस वक्त किसी भी मेंटल स्ट्रेस से जा रहा है एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ इशू आपको इस वक्त फेस हो रहा है आपकी वेल बींग के हवाले से तो अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ओवर देर आउट एज वेल वेर दे कैन हेल्प यू एक्चुअली टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट डेफिनेटली वेल बींग की बात जब हम करते हैं आयशा तो आपकी क्या सर्विसेज हैं आप कैसे ये डील करते हैं फॉर द वेल बींग ऑफ लेडीज और एनी अडल्ट येस सो देर आर हेल्थ असेसमेंट जो शुरू में ही किया जाता है ट्राई टू take what into consideration ki aap depression hai anxiety hai for instance people who are suffering from anxiety yeah. you know we make sure that we are doing everything in our capacity to make that anxiety level low yeah. so for instance unko shayad interview ka anxiety hai mm-hmm. so what we do is like you know get the interviewer coming to the office rather than them going to the interview That's so wait we have tester Very sessions good. some yeah. people don't know where they want to go in you know job wise yeah. so we have tester sessions happening yeah. we have apprenticeships so we have many many other trainings that we will pay for as well mm-hmm. so we have also got you know as i said you know the work once you get the work we will pay for the travel as well mm-hmm. so you know again we are helping in any way form or shape there is yeah. workshops happening so we have a r- i think very rarely um i see organization working actually lifting them up yes um helping them financially to go to uh, to the place to get the training yes or get the right job and then paying for their affair as well yeah. uh, for their traveling as well for their food uh, exactly. during the yeah. training so um i think this is wonderful Full Aisha. It is. It is. Um, so, um, what sort of trainings or apprenticeships are available in the market right now, where um, sisters can get uh, information or they get they can get into it? You know. why this program is so beautiful is because it's very personalized it's very specialized so agar aap accounting karna chahte ho we'll show you how you can get there yeah. it doesn't matter what your age is aap yeah. agar healthcare mein jana chahte ho yeah. we can do that for you you want to open your own restaurant again another really big thing is that we help with self employment as well wow. so we'll tell you where the grants can come in we can tell you how to market yourself we can tell mm-hmm. you everything if we can't be the right person we can sign post you to the organizations wow. but we mostly are the right people who will guide I do step by step of how to establish your business how to market yourself where your audience is or you know even making the business plan whatever it is we can come in and play that role where you can find your foot aur ye bahut achhi baat hai aisha because uh, sometimes uh, hote hain log they find it hard working under someone yes um and they want to do like uh, a leadership role like yes. kind of where they are the boss yes and obviously um uh, you know self employment ke hawale se jab hum baat karte hain तो वो जो रोल है वो सबसे ज़्यादा उन लोगों के लिए होता है जो कि लीडरशिप किसी और की पसंद नहीं करते हैं एंड दे वॉन्ट टू बी देर ओन बॉस अगर आप अनएम्प्लॉयड हैं और आप अपना बिजनेस शुरू करना चाहते हैं तो फिर भी आप जो है ना आयशा से रबता कर सकते हैं इनकी सर्विसेज ले सकते हैं और ये आपको आपका बिजनेस स्टेबल करने में भी आपकी बहुत सारी हेल्प कर सकते हैं सो आयशा ऑब्वियसली आप जैसे सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करते हैं बिजनेस के हवाले से आई वुड टॉक वन बाय वन या Um, तो uh, एक uh, uh, बंदा है जिसके पास ही हैज नथिंग फाइनेंशियली ही इज नॉट स्टेबल और शी इज नॉट स्टेबल या एंड शी डज नॉट हैव एनी एक्सपीरियंस बट शी इज गुड इन लाइक काइंड ऑफ कुकिंग एंड डूइंग दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड यू फॉन्स टू बी मे बी शी इज इंटरेस्टेड इन ओपनिंग अ रेस्टोरेंट और थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो हाउ वुड यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग टू हेल्प हिम ओ हा टू टू बी ऑन हिज ओ हा फीट्स सो दे 
there is a, a professional self-employment uh, expert in our business who will help them, guide them. So, you know, first of all, your point is that you establish your audience, what will your cuisine be? So, you know, we ask those right questions to get to that business plan. Okay, when yeah. the business plan is done, maybe there might be some grants you're eligible for. Maybe anything like maybe start from Facebook. We tell you how to market yourself and eventually once you get to see the results, then eventually we can go big. We don't want to go big and then make you bankrupt exactly. and all that. So we'll take you step by step, mm -hmm. and that expert who is the you know, self-employment expert, yeah. they will tell you in a professional capacity, mm -hmm. this is how it's going to look like, mm -hmm. and this is what you know how long it might take. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to keep it as realistic as possible. Yeah. And you can take both hands in your hands, because you're self-employment, maybe you're looking at back, or maybe you're doing retail, receptionist, or any other role as well, yeah. or whatever you want to do. Yeah, you Yeah, you can do Nothing is stopping and then you find that self-employment is for you, go for it. Uh, or you find that employment is for you where you don't want to take too much responsibility, then that's for you. Yeah. Again, you know, we will help so, you as much uh, financially. You are going to have plan B at the right time, at the exactly. right place. Yes. So you're not going to lose anything. So they yes. are going to help you to find out your career according to your dreams and desires. And then they will help you to get the right job, the right business, and they will help you how to get the grants. They will help you to do the trainings. They will help you uh, to take the little steps towards bigger step. Yeah. Um, obviously, when I work uh, with um, Aisha, when I talk about, um, you know, apprenticeship. Yes. Uh, and uh, somebody is from education background. They don't know um, any sort of, um, like, kind of hospitality or financial um, uh, things. And they want to change their career, mm -hmm. yeah, because they are not happy what they are doing. And this is very common in the society sometimes, which is giving them a, a kind of... Um, Uh, cause of concerns or they are not happy where they are at the moment they sometimes we all we are humans and we all make bad choices or wrong choices yeah yeah um, this is a human phenomenon and sometimes we want to change our career because of we want to get something better so um, when somebody comes to you um, for a different background and uh, going through a stress that they are not happy what they are doing and they want to change their career and how do you help them to get the apprenticeship unfortunately um, we won't be able to help people who are already employed jinki mm -hmm. earnings are here hmrc ke through mm -hmm. we won't be able to help like, you know the eligibility criteria in pass ho raha lekin ye ho sakta hai for instance they have been working in healthcare and now they decide to go in accountancy and unhone kaha hai ek mahine ka gap aa gaya basically yeah. around four weeks mm -hmm. they shouldn't have any earnings to become yeah. that economically inactive yeah. and eventually we might be able to okay. put them in the program they have to be so you have to be unemployed yes. Um, to get the services, the, which is important. And this is, yeah. this is how it works. Because yeah. uh, obviously, if we don't have good education, we don't have good education. We don't have good education. If we don't have good education, then we will think about the next career. Ke taraf jane ka sochenge, you know? Then we are going to prepare ourselves right, for sir. plan B. Yes, yeah. rightly said. So, yes. um, how do you help them in apprenticeship? There are many, many sectors, and government are giving us, you know, funding and everything along those lines. These sectors, as I said, we have test sessions. Mm -hmm. Whatever they want to do, they'll tell us, and we'll guide them. We'll make a career path for them. Okay, this is how it's going to look like for them, yeah. and this is where it's going to take them. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, the employment advisor is going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. He's going to be, give you one-to-one -one support. Mm -hmm. It depends. Okay, you want to do which apprenticeship? Is it engineering? Is it some other? Well, it depends. How many stages will you take through? And फिर आपने लोकेशन भी डिसाइड करनी है हम आपको सिर्फ ये दिखा देंगे कि यार ये 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 चीजें हैं तो आपने कौन सी चूज करनी है रेदर ऑब्वियसली वी गोना हो टेक योर हैंड बट वी कॉन यू नो पुट यू टू द डायरेक्शन यू आर द वन हु इज गोइंग टू चूज योर डायरेक्शन यू आर गोइंग टू बी चूजिंग वेयर the path is going to lead you mm -hmm. and yes so we will tell you okay even jobs wise as well we yeah. will be applying like maybe 10 jobs with you but yeah. 20 jobs you have to do the homework we have to be realistic it's very competitive yeah. it's london yeah, exactly. and then how do you sell for instance moms who have been unemployed for 10 years how are you going to stand out from people who have been employed all through their history yeah. how are you going to sell yourself yeah. so you have to not only market yourself you have to yeah. compete the other 
uh, people as well. And there is where you are helping people. That's right. Where you are providing the services, helping them to get uh, good in interviews, um, or um, time management, yes. and then obviously uh, organizing them for tr different trainings to get into the employment as well. Yes. Um, obviously, um, Aisha, when I talk about um, you know mums um, sitting at home, having small children, and going through financial struggle, but they cannot go to work outside yes yeah and so are there any services available for them to work from home yes yes definitely we as i said we will make a plan for you you are going to tell us what your aspirations are going to look like what your motivations are going to look like and you know even location of the job so if you say okay i want to work from home so again we will make sure that we are finding those kind of jobs yeah. that are going to be work from home yeah. also the fact that you know moms are struggling with the timing sometimes you know either you find jobs which are full time mm -hmm. So yeah. nine to five. Yeah. So we are working with organizations, especially who might take them from 9.30 to 2.30. So you yeah. have that flexibility so as flexibility well. So the flexibility is very important. Like, yeah. um, even though in normal life, uh, obviously when you have kids and then it's difficult sometimes because we have to cook, we have to get them ready yeah. uh, for school, um, for clubs. And uh, we needed that kind of flexibility where we can work in our comfort zone and take our best out from us. Exactly. So um, there, uh, where Aisha is helping um, you all, the sisters and uh, all the people, the community actually. Um, here is a time for a short break and uh, please stay tuned with us and see you after a short break.